Hi, my name is Tuli and today I will talk you through how to schedule interviews in Team Taylor. We'll have a look at both the manual scheduling as well as how we can automate that inside your recruitment process. Let's have a look. Before we have a look at how to start scheduling interviews with your candidates, it's important to note that you can connect your personal calendar with Team Taylor platform directly from your personal profile settings so that you can get the most out of the interview scheduling here. We also have a couple of different ways on scheduling these interviews with our candidates. And we will start by having a look at how we can do it through a candidate's personal candidate card. When we click it open, on the bottom of the candidate card, you will be able to find a black action bar and in there a section called book meeting. When you go to schedule this meeting, the first thing that you will need to do is to add a message. You can either do it on the spot by just writing down the message, or you can use some of your pre-existing message templates. From there, you will be able to select the team members that you would like to have as part of this interview, as well as you can choose who the main organizer will be. You will then get to choose the location, and you can also find your video meeting locations here based on what you have chosen to connect when connecting your calendar with the platform. You also have the opportunity of adding some meeting rooms as part of your interviews if you have again connected them with the platform. You will then be provided with two options, either allowing the candidate to self-schedule interviews or you can set a specific time. If we let the candidate to self-schedule, we can choose how many days ahead we would like to provide these times for, as well as how long these times should be. We will then be able to see how many times the candidate will be able to select from. If we click here onto the calendar view, we can see what exactly those times are that we would currently be sending out to the candidates. And if we would like to be a little bit more in control of this, we can also click here onto the custom site and simply click onto the times that we would like to offer the candidates. If you are using the interview kits function, you can also choose to add one into your interviews from here. And lastly, you can set up a reminder both for the candidates as well as for yourself if you are using the interview kits. And you can also choose what kind of a visibility you want for this to be in your personal calendar, whether you want it to show up as is, without candidate names, or maybe completely as a private time in your calendar. When you are done with all the setups, you can simply send the booking form and you are provided with a summary of this meeting and you can still edit it if you feel that something wasn't quite right. Once an interview has been sent, you can see it get listed here on the left hand side of the candidates card under the meetings tab. There you will always be able to see the status. So if the candidate has accepted it, if it's still pending or if they have maybe declined the time. As well as from here is where you could also then start these meetings whenever the time comes. The next way that we can schedule interviews with is in bulk. On the right hand side here, you will be able to find a bulk select button and then you can simply select all the candidates that you want to have this interview with. To then schedule the interview, you will need to click onto the three dots on the black action bar down the bottom. And from there, book meeting. The actual setup of the interview is the same as before. However, if you would like to schedule a group interview, you will need to then select the set specific time option. Otherwise, the candidates will again be provided with times that they can simply choose from and when one of them has been booked, the other ones will only be able to see the remaining times. Finally, by using our Triggers add-on feature, we can also automate meeting scheduling inside your recruitment process. When inside the recruitment process, you can click onto the three dots here, choose Triggers and from there, Smart Schedule. 
You are then provided with the same options where you can choose a message that you would like to send out with the meeting invite. You can then choose team members that are going to be attending this interview as well as how many of those are required for the meeting to start. You will then get to choose the meeting location, whether again it be a remote location or a physical location, as well as if you are going to be utilising an interview kit. In the scheduling settings, you will get to choose how long you would like for this meeting to be, you need to set up your office hours so that the booking badge looks correct for the candidates. We can again choose how many days ahead we would like to provide these times for, and also if we would maybe like to have some sort of a buffer time in between our meetings. Lastly, once your scheduling settings have been set up, you can also choose to move your candidates whenever they have picked a time for an interview or a meeting with you. When we now add this trigger to the stage, the candidates that we move from the previous stage to the one where this trigger is active, they will automatically receive that interview invite where they can then just book a time that best suits them. Thank you for watching. Hope you now feel confident in your meeting scheduling in Team Taylor. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support via the chat button in your platform. Happy recruiting!